case um, that would be new to Alaskans and we will be once again on the leading edge. Challenges? There are many. Insurmountable? Not if we all pledge to come to the table with an attitude that we want to find ways to say yes. There's plenty for all of us to do. While the companies are working on the resource reports, while they're doing their work out in the fields, while they're getting ready to move forward with open season, we all need to worry about infrastructure. That has to be front-loaded. You all need to help us sell this puppy in the lower 48. Make sure that the people in Chicago and elsewhere know why they need an Alaska gas pipeline. And we have to protect Alaska's ability to work to find the extra 15 TCF and more of gas. That's something we can all work on together. North America needs the gas. Alaska and Western Canada need this project. We all need to push front load. I'll be happy to answer any questions, but I know it's, it's after tip off time, so go <laughs> Memphis. Thank you. <laughs> challenge is that we all have the will to move forward and not try to decide today whether this is going to work but decide when the time comes whether the, uh, whether the tariffs are right whether it's economic and let the process move forward and we've got a golden opportunity ahead I, I do think this is the time yes during the discussions uh, about the natural gas uh, pipeline after the trans Alaska pipeline was finished, there was a lot of discussion of how is the Mackenzie Delta natural gas going to be handled. I, don't, I haven't heard that for years. What happened to the discussion of the Mackenzie Delta natural gas and how it would get into some pipeline like this? Aaron, want to answer that? Um, it's still alive and well in Canada. Uh, the project, however, may not be alive and well, quite honestly. One of the uh, problems that Mackenzie, lots of problems Mackenzie has. First of all, Pipeline coming through a pristine area. You know, it took two acts of Congress before we got taps. Um, it's hard to build a big pipeline through an area, uh, particularly where there are unsettled native claims. But there's also not that much gas that's discovered in the McKinsey Delta. And the latest price estimates that I saw um, that were announced actually publicly were that the pipeline costs might be as much as $16 billion Canadian and there's 1.2 TCF of gas in McKinsey. Anyway, it's a much smaller number than ours. Those numbers just don't work. So while the government um, and the proponents continue to push forward, and we all wait to see what the Joint Review Panel finally comes out with someday uh, in their recommendations to the government, and, and the, the process there is somewhat different. The Joint Review Panel will make recommendations to the cabinet and the prime minister, they then will decide which recommendations to accept and they will report back to the NED. Then the NED has to decide whether or not to license the project. Um, in some ways it's a much more political process than ours is and certainly the joint review panel has become a bit of a political football there. Um, I have to say that in the early days, in 2004 through say 2007, Anytime we go to Canada, the, all the Canadian uh, folks from the federal level down to the provincial level would say, we support the Alaska gas line, but McKinsey has to go first. Within the last two years, frankly, that McKinsey has to go first drumbeat has not been as loud and, in fact, has kind of fallen off. Um, it's not to say that McKinsey won't happen, but the economics of that pipeline at the moment look a lot worse for a lot of reasons than ours does. I apologize in advance if I didn't hear you correctly, but I thought I heard you say the two billion in infrastructure uh, is real important for this project to go, and that the president has said uh, multiple times how important this project is. How much funds have been put into the <coughs> stimulus package, and how much is in his budget pledged for the project that is so important to his administration? Um, 
Well, this administration did not put any specific dollars into the stimulus package for construction of the infrastructure of the gas line. However, um, the stimulus dollars that come to the state of Alaska, it's of course up to the governor and the legislature to decide how those are spent. Frankly, no one has had the time that I know of to go back to this administration and ask for specific dollars. Uh, in the past, Governor Rakowski uh, did, during the um, Stranded Gas Act days, his plan was to go to the federal government and ask for a direct appropriation for some or all of those dollars. Um, the companies, as far as I know, have not finished their final update of what the infrastructure that they think needs to happen. They've been working on updating those reports, and they've been working with state DOT. At some point in time, it may well be, and some point soon, I would say, it may well be that the state working with the companies go forward to Congress and make a specific request. They have not done that yet. And in this economy, other than stimulus dollars, it will be a hard push for us to get the federal government just to give billions of dollars for highway infrastructure. We're going to have to look like we're ready to build the pipeline before that would happen. Other questions? Oh, long game's call. Thank you very much. Thank you, Drew, and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. This meeting's adjourned. <laughs>